A question we get often from our viewers is when should I sell a stock? So most of the time on this channel, we do fundamental investing. So we look at companies that we want to keep for the long term. Now, obviously, eventually the question comes, okay, so if you have the stock for the long term, when does it become time to sell or when does it become time to take profit off the table? So Justin, when do you actually decide you want to take some profit off the table or when do you decide you want to sell a stock? Um, so Davi, for me, it really depends on the stock. It depends on my, my investment strategy. But let me just start off by saying that most of my portfolio is in dividend stocks. Now, I make this point because, as you know, I love dividends. I talk about it ad nauseum here on the channel. And so typically with my dividend stocks, I actually never want to sell them um, unless, of course, the company turns into a position that I don't want to hold. Maybe the company's heading in a direction where I feel they're going to lose value. But ultimately, most of my dividend stocks are aristocrat shares. I want to hold them for the long term. And obviously, being at a slightly different stage in my investing than other people, um, for example, you and I are in slightly different positions. You are more in a growth stage. I'm heading more towards a sort of stage where I want to preserve wealth. Um, for me specifically, my strategy is about preserving wealth and therefore I don't always want to sell off my stocks. However, when it comes to growth stocks, and I think that's the first place I want to start, I typically have a very simple strategy and this is going to go against what everybody will tell you, but I set a specific profit margin and it varies from stock to stock. So if I invest in a growth stock, which I believe could potentially go to, you know, 200% over the next while, whatever it is, I might set myself an exit point at 150%. And Davi, I do this very unemotionally. I actually set my sell price beforehand. So if I go into a growth stock, I will buy the growth stock. If it's not based on, on strong fundamentals and it's a, a little bit of a speculative play, I'll set myself the, the limit, whether it's 150%, 160%, whatever the percentage is, I will set that sell order when I buy the stock. And if it hits that price point, it executes unemotionally from my part. That means it takes out the emotion of the stock running. Did I take too early? Did I take too soon? And I let it happen. Equally so on my growth stocks, I also tend to set a, um, a stop loss. And so I'll also make sure that I sort of kind of preserve my portfolio by doing that, right? Now, when it comes to other stocks, when do I buy or sell? Really, there's no, there's no hard and fast rule. I mean, I actually had a couple of people commenting on the channel saying to me, what is the point of holding a stock if you're never going to sell it? What is the point of never realizing profit? Well, the idea is to constantly increase your portfolio, but the, va the value in your portfolio is actually meaningless because your portfolio value is based on the moving price today. You only make or lose money when you sell, as we've said many times before. So at some point you do need to convert into liquidity and you need to do something with that liquidity. So for me personally, the strategy is gonna be very different to you, Davi. Your, your strategy is gonna be to make profit and to put into things that are gonna make more profit. My strategy is to make profit and to put, it, put more of that money into my aristocrat shares, to put more of them into my dividend paying shares because that is part of my retirement strategy. Part of my retirement strategy is a heavily weighted dividend portfolio. So the question on when to take profit or not, I don't have a hard and fast rule, but some of my rules are very simple. I take growth stock money, aggressive growth stock money, I convert it into liquidity when I hit a specific price point, I then convert that liquidity into dividend stocks that make sense for me. Um, as for the other stocks, when I buy and sell will really depend on whether I believe in the stock still or not. And I tend to review my stocks aggressively every single year. Every single year when there's a new set of trading 12 month data out, I'll look at the stocks and see if they still make sense for me to hold in the year ahead or the next two years. And based on that, I'll, I'll change strategy. And sometimes, Davi, I've been up 30, 40% on a stock and suddenly that stock doesn't make sense to me to own anymore. And even though I could actually probably hold a bit longer and I could probably make another 20, 30%, I exit because I don't believe in throwing good money, which is profit, behind bad companies. And so if the company feels bad to me, doesn't make sense. I take the good money off the table and I go put it into other good companies. Yeah, so I think those are really solid points. Um, for me, sometimes I don't really like selling my stocks that much if I really believe in the company, but there are instances where I could see like the market is completely irrational, you know, like 2020 with oil companies. So I bought a lot of um, oil company stocks and then I basically closed my positions in all of them and I put it into stocks that I feel are 
pretty good that I don't really want to sell. Sometimes I would sell if there is a company where I made a decent profit and um, I found another company where the opportunity is better for me, then I would take that profit and I would allocate that towards another company. Um, sometimes when I would sell a stock as well is if anything happens with the management that I particularly don't like, um, changes in management structures or if the company strategy goes a different route or if I feel that the company is just losing its competitive advantage in the market, you know, then that's also a point where I would actually consider selling my stock. But um, yeah, I think you have pretty solid points there. I think it basically comes down from or goes from person to person. I think if you are in the business of day trading or speculative stocks, then I think you're going to have to take a lot of profit because, well, you are entering into an area which is basically speculation. For us, we don't do a lot of speculation. So for us, selling stocks are not really a big um, thing for us. Yeah, and David, there is one final point which I didn't really talk about in too much detail. And the reason why I don't want to talk about it in too much detail because it really depends on people's individual situations. It depends on which country they're located in. But there is also the tax implications. And so there are times when I will trade in and out of stocks based on the tax implications for me. Now, I don't personally trade in my own personal name. I trade uh, under an entity and there are specific reasons for that. I treat my investments as a business and I run them accordingly. And there are times when adjusted losses make sense. There are times when you take those adjusted losses and put them into your reporting as well as take them out of your reporting. So again, I don't wanna go into it in too much detail. Exactly, I don't wanna go into it in too much detail because of course it will vary for people uh, from, on a case to case basis. And I think the majority of people watching our channel probably aren't at that stage of investing yet. But certainly if you do get to that stage, my advice is to get yourself a competent uh, auditor to make sure that you've got somebody to you know, help you make decisions on your investments, not in terms of the actual investments themselves, but how to structure the taxation. And obviously to make sure you understand the legalities for your tax jurisdiction. So for me personally, I do do a bit of tax harvesting from time to time. And that is the only other reason that I really sell out of my stocks. Yes, so that's it for when it comes to selling the stocks. If you guys have any questions, of course, you can leave it in the comment box below. As you guys know, Justin, and I always answer these questions personally. So if you guys want to see stocks that we feel are undervalued, or if you want to see dividend stocks, it will be coming up on the playlist right now.